funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you can see my salmon. <laughs> yeah. I'm Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. And super weird. I'm Chris, <laughs> also a co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. So thanks for joining us on our keto journey. Yeah, and if you hit that little bell icon, you'll get notified when we decide to go live early, early. six minutes and 45 seconds. Because <laughs> our daughter has a flat tire. Yes. And she's in the class and it's gonna be a while, so we're gonna we're going to leave yep. a little early, too. Basically, we have to be done 36 and a half minutes from now. Yeah. So, anyway. Hi, how are you? Do we you figured wanna... we'd get, get a kick, uh, get a start. Do you want to see this? I'm so excited about this. Okay. <laughs> so, I found this under my desk at okay. work. And I thought we were out of salmon. Best by August 2026. And you said that they don't carry it at Costco anymore. No, they do. Well, every time I told you to get it, they didn't have any. No, they have it. Just when Holly went to get some, she bought the tuna fish instead. Oh, whatever it was, I haven't they been have able it. to have any more. Well, and I thought they last were not carrying I... it. And I was getting really sad. And right now with my macros, I have higher protein okay. than fat. That's a good way to get. And this has been my great protein. beautifulness because I do like a regular meal for lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. And then I do salmon or tuna fish for the other. What was it that you had last night with the salmon? The, like it, it worked together really well. Oh, shrimp. You shrimp and salmon, that's you right. Had the, you had made um, shrimp scampi. And so I just yep. took the shrimp and then put it on the top with the butter and... It was amazing. Okay. Well, let's say hi to people. Hi Looks people. like we got Dennis, Sarah, hi, Carrie, Dennis. and hi, Sarah. Debbie hi, here. Carrie. Suzanne says hi, everyone. Mike says hi, you too. Uh, Jennifer says good evening, beautiful people. Hi, Jennifer. Marianne says good evening, my friend. Storm Chasing Gal is hi, here. Um, let's see. Carrie likes your cool cans of salmon. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy says good evening, guys. Mama Cat <coughs> is here. Excuse me. Mimi says was just watching coffee, coffee. the vacation video that 2KK released. Oh, we actually like a third really of the started way through right there. after theirs. Yeah. And it was totally not planned. It was so not planned. If you're sick of looking at Lake Powell, sorry. Now we're trying to get everybody to want to go to Lake Powell. By the yes. way, yes. Antelope Point Marina mm -hmm. has a deal yes. where it's 50% off what? if you book one of those houseboats for Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> Is it cold there? <laughs> That's the thing. It's either going to be really nice or it's going to be terribly cold, and there's no way to know ahead of time. Well, and the, I th would that deal go might have if already. I wasn't worried about oh, the yeah. Uh, weather. Yeah, and that I think that deal might have already expired. But I just thought it was really that is funny. funny. That's anyway, super funny. Carrie says something that's definitely fishy. Yes. Bob is here. Says I ordered a second big bag of blueberry before you retire for for the season. Oh, good. And that's one of the things that one summer flavors are switching out this week. So last call to get your summer last flavors. Call for pina colada. Well, I think we're gonna keep pina colada around for a little I bit. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Uh, Root beer's already gone. It's already oh, sold out. I want yeah. some of that. Tanya says hi there. Lori says hi from Vancouver hi, Island. Tanya. And Pamela's hi, here from Lori. Somis, California. Hi, Pamela. Lynette's here. So hi, is Lynette. Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. And Donna says good evening. Donna. Sharon says I can't stay long. Just hopping in to say hello. Oh, We're, sure. We can't stay long either. Your room looks so cute. You posted it on Facebook. We actually have to be Sweet. gone in 30 minutes and 33 minutes and 10 seconds. Is okay. what we got. Okay. Suzanne, I'm going to see you on Saturday. We've got to talk. Suzanne says, do not send people to Lake Powell. They're ruining it. Oh, <laughs> Marianne yes, says, the videos are beautiful. There. Robin says, love the part one Lake Powell vacation. Thank you for the message. At the end, I needed to hear it. Oh, good. And oh, get good. off the boat. <laughs> yes, me too. I wish, it was just so funny as I was sitting there watching, and I'm like, I used to be the person that was always on the boat. Oh. Or sitting on the shore, right? Uh, I was yeah. only sitting on the shore. I'm apparently the person sitting on the shore right now because my knee is still not fully yeah. healed. Yeah, gosh. Actually, I slept better last night than I have for probably two weeks. Yeah. I think it was just because I was so tired. Oh. Anyway, Marie is t watching Hi. on the TV and typing on the laptop. 
Loretta's here from the Oregon coast. Oh, hi, Loretta. Are you here from Cannon Beach? Yeah. Anyway, Keto and the Misses, that means I'm so close to using my last maple waffle because I can reorder? Maybe. I don't know. Um, Mike says, houseboat sounds fun, but I'd rather sleep in a hotel. Actually, with the you know, um, air conditioning running, it, it wasn't was that good. bad. It, the bed wasn't super comfortable, but I, I do like the rocking at sleep, yeah. sleeping. Now, here's the one okay. thing about a houseboat. The, all of the stuff is uh -huh. running on batteries right. that are going through an inverter that are charged with, the batteries are charged with the generator, and that's also how the air conditioner runs. Mm -hmm. And all of that is powered by gasoline. And they're charging seven and a half dollars a gallon. Oh my goodness, yes. When we ended that, when we went and filled up the, the fuel tank, it was over $900. <laughs> dollars so much money. for fuel it was insane but we we budgeted it was fine. we did it was okay I, I wasn't expecting it to be 900 dollars, and it actually could have been worse because when we got back we were at 95 percent full great, on crazy. the gas tanks um jesse g says do i mix the core with beef tallow like i would butter yep yes if you want to use beef tallow yeah it actually warm water better than butter i would actually use a blender Mm -hmm. I was, Dave Feldman called me last night during, during dinner. During dinner? Hello. And I, I should have stood up and walked away so it's I wasn't fine. bugging everybody. It's fine. But he, I was telling him how to mix it up and he's like, that sounds like a lot of work. And I said, yes, but. It's worth it. You can do three at a time yeah. in a blender. And he's like, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which is funny because I could totally see his face when he said that. Oh. Kay Gibbs is here. Says hello. Hi. Uh, let's see. Carrie says that will be wonderful. Uh, since leaving early, then it'll be great for my bedtime. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trans said, uh, oh, I was talking to Air Frying Auntie. Hi, um, Yeah, and again, if, you, if you're just joining us, we are, we started early yep. because we have to leave early because we have to go, go flix, flix, rescue flix, our flat daughter's tire. flat tire. Yes. Yes. Uh, Patty says, so is Blueberry going away? Well, Blueberry is currently listed as a seasonal flavor. Mm -hmm. But... Um, We'll see what happens tomorrow, or Tuesday, next week, or whenever. Or three weeks from now. Yeah. But yeah. It's supposed to be a seasonal flavor. But it's, it sells really well, and people like it. So yeah. maybe if you ask real nice, we'll uh, keep it. Maybe. Hey, Rob from Canada. Where are you in Canada? Oh, Just yeah. finished Which watching part? your vacay video. Looks like you had I a great time. I don't know if you knew this, but Canada is big. I am obsessed with Canada <laughs> right now because that's where my daughter is and that's where my heart is. So I just want to know everything about Canada. Okay. Lori says, can I open an electrolyte capsule and stir into water? We love the salty taste, but with no switch grocery, cheaper to order the capsules than yes. the liquid. Yes. You can. In fact... Oh, we didn't put it on the video. <laughs> you can open up a capsule <sighs> and sprinkle it on food. We did that at Lake Powell. We Pell. totally did it. We did it at Lake Powell, and it's in it's in the second. What were of the we video. eating? An avocado. That's right. We had we were on the boat, not the houseboat. Yeah. And we had traveled far, and we brought lunch, yep. and we had. And there was a random avocado. <laughs> an avocado, and, and I'm there, like, nobody I had can't any eat salt. this without any salt. <laughs> and Chris was like, let's just open an electrolyte capsule. I'm like, okay. <laughs> we between all the eleven of us on that boat, we went through two thirds of one of the 240 capsule I electrolyte capsules. I cannot believe it. Do you have it here? Is it uh, here? It's actually at work in a uh, bag with a lighter and a few other things oh. that Holly and Steve didn't know whose they were. Uh, Jimena oh, says, I love your hair, Thank Miriam. you. Carrie says, hope your daughter is okay with the flat tire. Well, she'll be okay when we show up and, yep. and but she's, she's in just the class, out. Yeah. So she's distracted right now. Visual Keto is ear hustling. I finally got the loaded broccoli at Texas Roadhouse. Yes. Yeah. On a plate. It's important you tell them that you want it on a plate. I want to go to Texas Roadhouse. We haven't been in like Let's go on a two date. months. Anyway, well, go. we did go on a date on Saturday. We went up to um, the mountains to yeah. our property yeah. and uh, and got some drone footage and, and, I, I've, and put together I've some shots. I vlogged shelves. it, so Ooh. you'll see it in a couple weeks, hopefully. Yeah. Mike says blueberry is the best. Patty says pretty please. Well, I guess that seals it. Perfect. Here you go. <laughs> Carrie wants a pepper chip. Uh, keto chow. Donna says, you're the best parents. Family first. Oh, you're so sweet. And Rob, okay, just across from Detroit in Tecumseh, ah, Ontario. 
Interesting. So, so our daughter is, right now she's in a city called Rocky Mountain House. Rocky Mountain and House. it is in what province? Uh, it's in Alberta. Alberta. Yes. It's in kind of in between Edmonton and Calgary. Yeah. Um, Shari says, good evening from Finleyville, Pennsylvania. Need a Kyo Chow. Just got my starter kit. Awesome. Then what did a you... big order last week that should be arriving tomorrow. What are you going to try first? Have you already tried it? I've ordered more. I'm assuming you, tried you it. liked it. Yeah. You liked it. A storm chasing gal said made smothered chicken, so yeah. Oh, that sounds and good. And Kel is looking forward to pumpkin season. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys want to hear about this? Yes. Yes. So Sam and Ruth and Max are all going to take cold lunch, which means lunch for allegedly. <laughs> but I hadn't talked to Max about it. I talked to Sam about it, and then Ruth about it during school, of course, because you're supposed to text your kids during school, right? Uh, because. Sam wanted to have Lunchables. He always wants Lunchables. I'm like, that is such crap. Let's just, I would rather buy you the crackers. We can even buy the pre-cut cheese and it's cheaper. And give you real cheese and real meat instead of the, the stuff that's just not as good, right? And he's like, okay, let's do that. I said, okay. So we're, we ordered cute bento boxes. Okay. And uh, because when you have it in a cute box, it's so much better. Right. Presentation. Are right? they, are they, uh. Insulated bento boxes or just no cheese is fine for a cheese couple hours. Yeah, but then we at dinner we talked about it with Max and he's like, "All I want is pumpkin sausage soup," and I'm like, "You know what? I can do that for you." <laughs> so we looked on Amazon and found a bento box that is a thermos. Oh, okay. So he's gonna have that and hmm. just have all the pumpkin sausage soup he wants. That's gonna be hard to keep him uh, okay. Wow. So he wants to know if we can do a video and have him make it. And I'm like, yes, that's a great idea. Okay. Because we have a whole bunch in the freezer right now. We do, but it'll but, be used up But it's up measured out for me. So yep. I don't want to share. I mean, okay, I will share. But it's all measured out. And if he makes a new batch, then he can make it the size of his yes. thing. Put it in the freezer and then get it out in the morning. Thaw it, warm it up, put it in the thing, take it. I think his plan sounds better than Ruth and Sam's because we okay. have to actually make the food for them. It's true. Lynette says the Texas Roadhouse sent me an email for a free appetizer <gasps> for my birthday. Did you get one, Miriam? What? I should. And Dennis points out it's your birthday this it's Sunday. My birthday and a says can't wait to. for the key lime and blueberry. Now, key lime. I don't see it. Key lime is that one going away as one of the. Uh, I love key lime. It's one of the I think it is. Fall, uh, summer flavors. I don't I remember. I think it is a summer flavor. And Jimenez says happy birthday. I want, you know what? I want to make pizzelles out of key lime. Okay. That sounds good, right? Well, here's a good question for you, I Miriam. Pizzelles right now. Could you use butter and heavy whipping cream in the same shake? Yeah. Yes. In fact, for probably a year after we started Keto Chow, I did heavy cream and avocado oil. Yep. Half and some it. MCT oil, but you don't oh, do anymore. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do that anymore. But it was great at the time, and that's what I needed. So you could easily just melt the butter and then yep. put that in with the warm water and then just add the heavy cream to it, and it would be fine. Yep. Totally. Um, and not on the uh, questions we were going to ask, but someone was asking how they figure out how to use coconut oil. Uh-huh. On the Keto Chow website, actually. Ba -ba 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 dun 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 Oh, t t t oh my gosh. This is the shirt that I got from Omaha. There it goes. This is Dr. Fit and Fabulous's clinic uh, place. Okay, if you go clinic to place. learn and you go to how to make keto chow. How to make keto chow. And the page loads. And this right here, this calculate my fats. Uh -huh. One of the options is or oil. Yes. That includes... Coconut oil. All the oils oh, right, are exactly right. the same. Yes, the different. In fact, the difference between butter and oil is that butter has a little bit of water. You could measure the oil as tallow too, if you wanted yeah. to put in that. Oil, tallow, yeah. Bob says I've never hey. used heavy whipping cream until someone gave me a stack of it. I don't know <laughs> that how was that us. <laughs> um, Carrie says would mix key lime and pistachio. Oh. I've never mixed those together, though I don't know how well that would work. Anyway, okay. On the Keto Chow Facebook support group, somebody asked, now that we're going into the food season, the um, food Thanksgiving, season. Christmas, oh, New right. Year, family gatherings, and all that good food, mm -hmm. 
So for those who have been on it for years, how do you handle holiday time? You know what? It's hard. It's still hard. We like to have some dishes that we like to bring that are keto, that everybody mm -hmm. likes. We always take deviled eggs. Everybody loves deviled yeah. eggs. Uh, because they're delicious and I can eat a bunch of those if there's other <laughs> and Ruth things can eat so available. Many. And then I think too, if you are going to be worried about wanting a treat that your favorite grandma or somebody makes, bring yourself a treat that you can have at the same time everybody else is having the same treat. So that helps considerably, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you can eat beforehand, you can eat after. I think it's just hard because everybody's like, well, why aren't you eating? So it's at least for me, I like to eat when everybody else is eating, but I don't have a problem only putting on the foods that that I either brought or that are good. And I think it's helpful to, you know, be open and honest with your family. If they're going to give you a hard time, don't worry about it. But, yeah. you know, my family's been really if supportive. If they're going to be pushy about it. I was really surprised I when made we this did, for you! Right? We did our family <laughs> trip this uh, summer with my family, and I was really surprised one of the, one of my brother and sister-in-law, she had brought specific things that were keto already. Yeah, like, well, it was um, taco meat. Yeah, that, she had made a that special she had made taco special meat for us. us. And I'm like, oh, Which we had made so special nice. taco meat for us as yeah, well. Yeah, so we so. just had double the taco meat, which was not Which a was not bad at all. Yeah, but it, it was, I was really grateful that, you know, she thought of that. So you may be surprised how supportive your family can be. And sometimes it's not the case and it's hard. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, just I think what you need to do is make a decision ahead of time. Am I going to have the potatoes? Am I going to be tempted? Am I going to be weak? Am I going to, you know, whatever. And not not weak. You're not weak. You're making a decision, right? Yeah. If you're going to do it, decide you're going to do it, and then decide you're going to not afterwards, right? But what I prefer is just not even to dabble in it because I will feel sick and I really have a hard time getting back on the wagon. I know yeah. myself, and if there's potato leftovers and I already have potatoes, I am going to want <laughs> to have all the things. So I just I just don't. Storm Chasing Gal says, holiday time isn't hard. I just cheat with stuffing. And Kell points out that Nisha has a wonderful cornbread oh, stuffing yes, recipe. Oh, yes, she does. She yeah. does. And, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of really good recipes that we have used over the years. Mm -hmm. We've got a pumpkin pie recipe we really, really like to make. There's a, a cranberry dip that was actually like a regular sugar yeah. um, cream cheese dip, and we just altered it, and it's really delicious. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna quote from Mark Rhodes. Okay. One of our friends, he's... He's a good buddy. He's a good buddy. So he said, this is on the Facebook support group, I have a natural advantage. I live one day at a time with alcohol abstinence for 34 That's years. That's amazing. Another five without nicotine. Mm -hmm. Being keto since 2016, I learned that it is, that it. That it too. It too is a day at a time. I yes. only worry about today. Many people yeah. would be triggered by a splurge and I've watched all too many, all too many struggle getting back on track. So we've made the holidays not about food. Oh, that's so awesome. Then we make we would make a few keto sweets or special carnivore meals. This completely carnivore Thanksgiving is an example. And he had a picture of just oh, a spread of carnivore stuff. That's so fun. You don't have to make everything about food. Yes. You can just hang out and talk to people. Mm -hmm. Well, and I guess that's good too if you're going to be the host. Because then you can say, hey, well, we can get together and have dessert and like there's one thing or we can get together and do uh, something in between meals. We've done a Christmas Eve gathering like in the middle of the day quite a few times now. And so it doesn't have to revolve around food. Yeah, there's presents and some yeah. people bring treats and whatever, but it's kind of fun to just do something different and I'm also not a be terrible host food. and it never even occurs to me that you're supposed to provide refreshment for people. <laughs> water. Yeah. <laughs> we could we could make the little water bottles with the antlers and wow. the little red nose. Robin says why not ask for broccoli on a plate? Oh, why ask for broccoli on a plate? Okay, when oh, you go to Texas, Texas Roadhouse, Roadhouse their yes. default when you okay, so they you get the thing and they they say you get and you get your two made from scratch sides. So what you have to say yes. is I want broccoli, just broccoli, but I want it on a plate. Mm -hmm. 
Because otherwise they give it to you in this bowl cup thing. Mm -hmm. And it's sad and it just isn't very good. But you put it on a plate and then you say, and I would like cheese and, and bacon. bacon and butter and, and sour, sour cream. cream. And then they and look at you and say... they forget the sour cream. Yeah, they usually do. But then they, you look and you say, oh, you wanted a load of baked potato that's broccoli. And you say, yes. yes. That's exactly what I want. But on a plate. If they put it on a plate, then they'll melt it for you. But yes. if they put it in the cup, they just kind of pile it's the cheese on top. Good. And it's just not as good. Okay, so Tanya says I make filet mignon, salad asparagus, Ooh. and deviled eggs. Don't have things I can't have. Wow. That's the best. And Tanya says I can't get back on track if I deviate from my evening plan. I am plan. the same. It's, it's really hard. And then I beat myself up forever. And Teresa is planning to get her stuff together. Up and wait and frustrated with herself. Oh, okay. darn it. Jennifer says You've Thanksgiving is no problem. Turkey, green beans, broccoli salad, right? sugar-free cranberry sauce, yep. keto chow cheesecake. I used jo Joe's corn dog chaffle recipe for oh, corn dog muffins. Oh, that's a good idea. Wow. When Carrie's 15 yeah. years sober. That's amazing. Nice. Congratulations. Lewis says, in regards to the cream cheese dip, does it contain fish products in relation to the gelatin mm -hmm. or just regular cream cheese? Which cream cheese dip? Oh, the one that we are talking about, oh, the, the, the cranberry dip. It's cream literally cream, cream cheese. a layer of cream. Here. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese. We're going to do this. But I think uh, the cream cheese has like a sweetener chow. mixed into Thanks. it. Right? Keto chow Thanksgiving. Yeah. And that's what um, we've been doing for years. It wasn't anybody's it's this top one right here. recipe. It was just one that, oh, look at our old countertop. Wow. That's so old. That's our yeah. old house even. No, this is this house. That's the concrete countertop that we made in this house. Anyway, so here's the cranberry jalapeno cream cheese dip. So good. I will Which put we this don't use crackers, link. we just use pork rinds or celery. Yeah. Um, and Miriam said, there's happy in my mouth. Yes! So it was actually a really, really simple recipe. Um, oh my gosh. Jalapenos, cranberry. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Life cream story. Cheese. Blah, blah, blah. So, okay, so this is like the one that we just adapted. Yeah, you mix that with some green onions, which I don't ever do. Yep. Some cilantro, yes. Jalapeno Jalapenos. popper, yes. Oh, it's a cup of sugar. Nope. We use allulose. So works great. Use, yep. Cumin. You have to put in the cumin the or else cumin it doesn't taste good. right. Um, lemon or lime juice. Mm -hmm. I don't use fresh lemon or lime juice. We I just have the little I'm so pragmatic. And then, he, and then you took two packages of cream cheese yep. and you just spread them in the bottom of a plate. Mix it all together. Put the other stuff in a food processor and pour it on top. And yep. it's super easy. So good. Okay, I'm gonna put that link into the chat. Stina says, Are you Hi, linking Kristen, the Mary. direct recipe? Oh, you're linking the blog. Yeah, okay. the blog Hi, post Stina. with all, the list of them. Uh, let's see. Ba ba ba. Lewis is, okay, that's, that's what we were talking Hi, Sky. about. Hi, how are you? Hey, Hi, hola Tracy. back at you. Um, let's see. Loretta says, I just can't find either. I'm okay with that. Yep. Yep. Um, Lewis says, thanks. Joe answers, hello everyone. Late to the party. Love your Lake Powell video. Thank I you. haven't even watched it yet. You should have. You look cute in it. Okay. Rob says, I got my Kiwichat order today. Almost ran out. Can't leave it that close again. <laughs> okay. There was a comment on one of the videos that we have where I interviewed Dr. Ken Berry talking okay. about the Daily Minerals. And someone said, hey, I tried keto chow, but number one, it was too high in carb. Okay, because it has the total carb, right? And Which it's total seven carb. to eight total carbs. Because mm -hmm. the acacia fiber. If you use one of the older versions, if you want to use one of the newer versions, it's like three to four total carbs. Mm -hmm. And we're still switching those out. Yep. Just because we say old, it doesn't mean it's old. It's still totally good. Yeah, it's it not just, like it's old. And the difference is acacia gum, which acacia gum, your gut bacteria will turn that carbohydrate into short chain fats. Right. Like it will not raise blood sugar. Um, the protein is actually the only thing that you may see a, a change in your blood sugar. But regardless of that. But they also said it was too sweet. And I think it was Travis or Kay, Kay. got to that comment today. Yes. I was leaving it for them so they could take care of it. Uh -huh. And they did. Good job. Um, and they, they gave the right answer, which is try adding more water. Yes. The other uh, solution is to add more salt. I would actually prefer that there be more salt in keto chow. I know, salt's the best. You know what the number one complaint that we get about keto chow is? Too salty. Whoa, that's so much sodium. 
And it's mostly from people who aren't familiar with a ketogenic diet yep. and aren't familiar with getting keto flu, which is just not enough sodium. And so they're like, that is so much sodium. And we're like, <laughs> it should actually be more. <laughs> so don't, yeah, feel free to add more salt if keto chow is too sweet or just add more water. Yep. Man, some people think it's too salty if they don't have enough water. But some yep. people think it's too sweet. Yep. It's kind of interesting. You can't please everybody. No, you can't. Janice says, I think a potato keto chow would be interesting. Wouldn't really? that be? Oh, Mashed wow. Potato, that's it. Matreya is here this evening. All in infinitely blessed us here also. And Sarah says, I made Maria Emmerich's egg pudding with pumpkin spice caramel oh, keto chow last idea. week. Oh, that's a good idea. It was like eating pumpkin pie. It would be great that's for Thanksgiving, good, oh, too. Let's yeah, do that in a pie crust. Sky says, working on making it to the October get-together, crossing <gasps> yes! my fingers it works out. Me too. And I don't think I've added Nurse Cindy to the meetup page yet. But we did put But it Nurse on Cindy flyer. is coming. Yeah, Nurse Cindy's coming. I need to get the graphics for that. We also need to get their booking and all the make the plans and things. Well, um, Nisha has all of their flights already booked. Oh, cool. So... Karen says, hello, oh, hi, lovely bring the people. Kids. I don't think she's going to bring the kids. Hoping, hopping streams tonight. Yeah, well, so we're we're actually on a bit early, by the way. Sorry. Karen, hi, how are Christy you? Christy says, birthday's in a few weeks. I want to try to make birthday cupcakes out of the Keto Chow birthday <gasps> yes! chow. Do you have a recipe? Your September birthday? We do have several Cheers. cupcake recipes. Um, yeah. In fact, if you go to the Keto Chow site, bum, bum, bum. And you go up here to kitchen. Kitchen. And you wait for it to load. Loady, loady. There it goes. There's recipes right there. Yummy. Um, here under search and filter, you can just in. cupcake. Cupcakes. Let's see. I love doing stuff live. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Did you actually push search? Yeah. Ooh, mint chocolate cupcakes. We've got. Oh, the caramel apple cupcakes. Let me just tell you, that's a hard recipe. It's so good. This was Joe's recipe. Oh, Worked really? out really well. Ah. Oh, yeah. The so. raspberry cheesecake red velvet ones are good, too. Yep. We have the carrot quite, cake is good. quite a few. But uh, we Rihanna didn't have is here. cake, so I'm sure. Travis says, it was me. Travis, <laughs> you're the best. Good job, Travis. Yeah, because well, we had stand-up this morning, and he said he was going to work on YouTube comments. And oh, indeed, he's I went back, and like so many YouTube comments were taken care of. Good job, Travis. Thank you. Um, Marie says, or you can mix it with unflavored, unsweetened beef keto right. chow. Yes, you could. Totally. Ash says, I find most of them too sweet, but a few are just perfect. Right. Here's the funny thing. Right, Ash. It's the exact totally. same amount of sweetness. Exactly. Except for like... Um, the the flavor is uh, different. Yeah, the flavor is different. But That's things why. like um, natural strawberry uses a different sweetener and the mm -hmm. core mm -hmm. uses a different sweetener. But all the other sweetened flavors, exactly you know, the same. I really need to make an ice cream out of the core. Let's do okay. that this week. Infinitely blessed as I tried Keto Chow, the Keto Core with Stevia for the first time and loved it. Oh, I'm so ordered glad. a large bag. Nice. It's so different, right? Indigo Neely is here. Hi. So, Neely and Lindsay. Right. They usually have a Tuesday live stream. So, and I, Chris was sitting with bated breath. I put it on my calendar. I cleared out all of He's my stuff so I could, baby crying I could be there to today. bug them to death. Because that's what I love to do on Tuesdays. Instead of working. Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> oftentimes, a random meeting pops up and takes that spot. Because it's like prime real estate you on should, my calendar. You should just calendar No, it because if something comes up and it's legitimately important, <laughs> okay. I don't want to skive off. Like take an anyway, exam to the doctor? I was ready to go. Pulled it up. No, it's scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> so you know what I did? Made a calendar event. No. Oh. I scheduled a live stream for us tomorrow morning tomorrow? at noon Eastern time. Oh, so we could compete with An hour before. No, no, not at the same time. Uh, oh, it's an okay. hour before. So okay, okay. everybody should come on our live stream tomorrow. Before they go to... Neely so it's at, it's at noon Eastern time noon. or 9 a.m. Pacific time. Yes. Um, and you should come and hang out with us, and then you can go and talk to uh, Lindsay and okay. um, Neely. So should I wear something cute tomorrow? You could. I could. So yeah, we're going to do a Try. live stream tomorrow, in case you're wondering. It's on, the, it's, it's on YouTube. Just come and hang out with us. Just to spite Neely and Lindsay. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> it was pretty he funny, get actually. His, he needs to I'm like, torment. Fine, I'm going to schedule my own live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. And Dennis says, my kidneys are also showing an increased health with the keto chocolate. Wow, water. that's awesome. That's great. Um, let's see. Lori says, so if prepping for a colonoscopy, oh. is the acacia fiber too much fiber? Asking I for a friend. I have no idea. So when you actually start colonoscopy prep and you're you supposed to be having to clear do. liquids, if you, have to have clear you liquids. should not be drinking keto chow at that time. But you can have it before the now is the time for clear liquids regimen, which is right. usually the night before. Um, I recently went through this, by the way, because I am now 46. Yeah, I think so. I think you're 46. Yes, because it's an even, I mean, an odd number year, and I was born on an odd number year. That means I'm even. Okay. <gasps> Me too. Karen see? is doing good. Uh, let's see. So Sky says looking for a hotel roommate. Is anyone, if anyone is a possibility, let me know. Keeping costs low is a deciding factor. Huh, nice. Oh, for the meetup? <laughs> Dennis says, welcome, Neely. Chris and Miriam about to turn into pumpkins. My mom always said that if mm -hmm. I got home after midnight, I would turn into a pumpkin. And that does so. happen in real life. And Marianne says September birthday people are the best. They are. Uh, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Lady Fritzader is here. Says, love the chocolate core. Thank Christy you. says, so you have beef keto chow. Do you think you'd make, you'd make a turkey keto Ooh. chow for gravy? So what we did... Just take did, the drippings and then put beef keto chow in it. Uh-huh. What we did is instead of making a bunch of weird flavors of keto chow, mm -hmm. we, we just made the beef soup base. And then you can do whatever you, you want. You can do whatever you want. It has no flavor. As Marie likes to point out, the beef soup based keto chow is actually the chocolate core mm -hmm. without sweetener or flavoring. flavoring. You can add sweetener and flavoring to it and make whatever flavor you want. Right. Okay, Judith has a great question. Great question. They say sucralose kicks you out of ketosis. Your product contains this. Do you agree? Okay. That's a great question. It is. We feel that sucralose does not take you out of ketosis. Uh huh. And there are no studies, if you ask Dr. Westman, to support that claim. No, to support that, it kicks you out of ketosis. That's right. That's right. Specifically, there are no studies that show that artificial sweeteners raise your insulin, in fact. Mm -hmm. Now, what people are talking about when they're talking about sucralose, raising mm -hmm. your blood sugar, kicking you out of ketosis, what they're actually talking about is sucralose plus maltodextrin, also known as Splenda. Mm -hmm. If you go to the store and you buy sucralose, that's what you're going to get. It's mostly maltodextrin. So you have to look at the ingredients. ingredients because they yeah. do sell sucralose by itself. You just have to pay attention. Yeah, and sucralose by itself comes in these little teeny packages. Because it's a high-intensity sweetener. And I mean little tiny. like, And it's sold by it's the like gram. smaller than this lotion bottle. And Or it comes in a liquid form. Because mm -hmm. pure sucralose is very, very difficult to measure. Mm -hmm. Because, for instance, in a packet of keto chow, one packet of keto chow, um, there's 0 0.08 Eight grams. grams. 0 0.08 grams of actual sugar will not have a measurable impact on most people's blood sugar. Mm -hmm. It won't show because up. Because it's like the it's tip. It's too small. It's like the tip of a toothpick. Yeah. That's how much it is. Now, so regardless of it, whether it did yeah. or not, it wouldn't because of the size, right? For because one. of the mass. Yes. Even Yeah, even if it did impact blood sugar, it wouldn't because there's so little of it. Now, again, we're using, in most of our flavors, we are using pure sucralose. Very difficult to measure. You have to do it in industrial quantities. It's, it's like, yeah, it's interesting stuff. We do have the Keto Chow Core, which uses either no sweetener mm -hmm. at all or, or stevia. stevia. And we also have the natural strawberry. But f by and large, even people who are a type 1 diabetic do not see an increase in blood sugar due to sucralose. What they sometimes will see is an increase in blood sugar due to protein. And you will see that increase in blood sugar due to any protein, including just eating hamburger, mm -hmm. will cause your ketones to go down temporarily and your blood sugar to go up temporarily, and then your body normalizes after a couple hours. So that's yep. a great question. Thank you. And if for you do that. a Google search for keto chow sucralose, you'll find a lot of things. We to have read. a lot of information mm -hmm. about it. 
Uh, let's see, Penny says, I just love watching your all's lives. You always put me in a good mood and make me smile. Oh, Lynette said, are we going to sing to her? <laughs> well, because we're not going to do a live. Oh, oh we could do a live. Well, uh, Neely live had to take her dad to the airport this okay, morning. Okay, I so, forgive you. Yeah, okay. b Dog says, I'm late to watch the replay. I'm in Bible study. Nice. I made oh, the Snickers with awesome. peanut, peanut butter and caramel. Yay. Okay, singing to Lynette. Tonight or tomorrow? We're going to have to do it tomorrow because right. we Lynette, do not tomorrow. have a lot of time. Come on we have to uh, go to, to go pick up Kate and fix her tire. Yeah, we do. Anyway, uh, yeah, Neely says we'll keep the party going after your live stream. After hey, party! party! That's right. Yeah, and Shana says Keto Chow tailgate prior to <laughs> to go in Lindsay. Right. Where he says, Before basically, it's core without the sweetener or added flavoring. Right. Yes, the, the beef soup base is. Yeah, Debbie says, colonoscopy is just so much not fun. <laughs> we had mm -hmm. one this year, too. Um, Marianne says, I, ho I really hope I have power tomorrow to watch it, depending on the hurricane. Ooh, oh, right. I hope you are. I hope, uh, yeah. I hope so, too. I hope you just don't get affected by the hurricane. How's that? And apparently, I'm the same age as Donna's daughter. Wow. Uh, let's see, Sonia says I'm doing dairy-free for September. Which oils nice. taste the best in the chocolate core? Beef, Beef tallow, tallow, butter, butter, which I would consider butter to be yeah. dairy-free. Butter is sometimes but, people are no. Because uh, it doesn't have any protein in it, especially if you use clarified butter. You could do avocado oil. I or think coconut oil. Fine. Beef tallow, All I mean, if you're going to go dairy-free. You know what? But I bet the coconut oil would be good. Yeah. Let's try that. Um, infinitely blessed orders some pure liquid sucralose and it tastes like pure salt. That is interesting. That's weird. Um, Christy Davis says, I've tried a number of different foods while wearing my CGM and my mm -hmm. blood sugar barely moved, but I accidentally ate something that had maltodextrin oh, added. No. And I didn't see it and my sugar went up 45 points. Yep, wow. Yeah, maltodextrin. It's a, yep. a thing. Neely likes Wagyu tallow in the core. I do nice. too. Nice. So good. Um, yeah, Sky says, by pure sucralose in the liquid form, it will last forever. Yes, because you're putting like two drops. Yes. Yeah, there's hardly anything. It forever. Um, and Chris Davis says, barely moved with sucralose. And the interesting thing is, blood sugar doesn't actually indicate that what your ketones are going to be. Yeah. But it's very tightly correlated. They do look. They kind they, of move they together. They track together. Yeah, and uh, people are saying that the core with the ch with the beef tallow tastes, tastes like, like chocolate donut. donuts. Totally does. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -bum. Chrissy, Chrissy likes your hair. hair. You. John says our county is in red flag warning because of the high winds. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love to learn. Says I break my fast with keto chow, then I eat one meal in the afternoon. Easy lifestyle. 35 pounds lost since April. Wow. You're I got off my blood it. pressure medication oh, been on since so 2014. Awesome. I've dropped two sizes. I'm so proud of you. Good job. And Neely wants to know if tomorrow is Lynette's birthday. No, it's on the 3rd. It's on, the, it's on it's Sunday. Miriam's and Lynette's and Rachel. Rachel's. And Maria Emmerich's is on, on the 2nd. That's right. Okay. Twinners. How many meals are in the 30 day box? 30 meals. Yeah, it's actually not a 30 day. <laughs> we um, we see that pretty frequently. It's not a 30-day supply. It's a 30-meal surprise. So depending... Su su supply. I said surprise. Anyway, surprise. depending on if you want to do one a day or two a day mm. or one every other day, how many days it lasts is going to depend on that. So we have in the surprise box, in the build-your-own box, we have the number of meals. We don't have the number of days. But I see a lot of people saying the 30-day box. And hey, if you're only doing it one a day. Excuse me. <laughs> Jenna says, yeah, very pretty hair. Thank Terry you. says, it seems like most people like the vanilla and strawberry cream the best. Is there an advantage to having the plain vanilla and natural strawberry or the strawberry and vanilla cream? So um, you, could, you could just Dress it up a little if you want. Yeah, we came out with the vanilla cream and the strawberry cream very recently. Yep. So that's that's the difference. Um, new hotness. They're the new hotness. Paula says, do you guys still offer the keto chow egg white oh, powder? Oh, no. Unfortunately, the price went up, yeah. and so we're waiting for the cost to come down. Remember when the price of eggs was up really high? Uh-huh. That was also the same thing. Yeah, we had, we had a good supply of it for a long time while everything was going crazy. But once we ran out... Um, the first time we went to restock, the price was like six times higher. Um, back in April, it was like three times higher. Last time I checked, 
it was only two times higher than it mm -hmm. was. So mm -hmm. we're waiting for it to continue coming down because I don't want to introduce it and it's like this crazy high price. Yep. Okay, last question. Okay. If you only need 10 grams of fat for each shake, why are some people using a whole stick of butter? That's so many extra calories. Well, maybe they need a whole stick of butter. Yeah, I don't know a lot of people that are using a whole stick of butter, but... Okay, so let's address the 10 grams of fat. Okay, so the, you use 10 grams of fat because it's fat-soluble vitamins that are in there, and if yeah. you have fat with it, then you're going to absorb it better, right? Yes, that's the minimum to get the nutrition from keto chow. Right. Now, it's going to taste better if you actually use a decent amount of fat. Right. So again, the minimum is 10 grams, but that doesn't mean... That's what you need. Yeah, It'll and Penny just asked, do you have to add fat to keto mm -hmm. chow? You don't have to, but if you don't, you won't get those fat-soluble vitamins. Mm -hmm. A, D, K, um, E, um, along with magnesium, uh, calcium, and I'm, I'm drawing a blank on all the other ones, but there's a lot of, of fat-soluble all... nutrients that you have to have and now it just has to be in your digestive system at the time that yeah, you're so digesting you can keto eat chow. Fat next to it. You could. Now, as far as why do we why do some people use more than ten yes. grams of fat? Well, depending on what else they eat the rest of the day, they need to have enough fat to be satiated, right? Yeah. And so say they're gonna have tuna fish for dinner and no fat with it, then they need to have fat sometime. Yeah. Oh, this has doesn't have it on there. How many? It does, how many it's open. It's grams of open. fat? No, that is missing. So, oh. <laughs> each uh, twelve servings per container. What? Well, it's because this is the whole thing. Okay. Look. So it's so each of these cans only has three grams of fat in it. That's yeah. That's that's not, not right. a lot. Here you go. Now. Where was it? Christy wants to know, is a whole raw egg enough to absorb the vitamins? I think you actually need like two. one and a half, two yeah. egg yolks with a, a standard large eggs. Yeah. That's enough fat. And actually Carrie Brown Carrie used to Brown do that. Carrie Brown does that too. She would do two egg yolks mm -hmm. mixed with her keto chow and was really enjoying that. Yep. Um, it's her birthday today. Is it? Yes. Carrie oh. Brown. Well, in case you see this, Carrie, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, we should call her and send her a message. Let's call her right now. Um, anyhow, but that's, we actually need to go. Um, we, we have do. to go we fix to our go. daughter's tire. Yes. We, but we will be doing a live stream tomorrow. To tailgate Lindsay and Neely. <laughs> yes, we're going to be the pre-show pre for the, the Lindsay and Neely show. Yeah. Uh, we'll, get the, we'll get the audience warmed up so that... Uh, yeah. And Penny wants to know if I recently ate a fatty meal and then have a keto chow with it ever out of protein, will that work? Yes, it Probably. will. Probably. And yes, then you will you absorb the... Because you already have it in your body. Yeah. Now, you can do that. I wouldn't recommend that. I would still recommend Putting adding... a little bit of fat in there. ...a couple tablespoons of fat. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Or eight but, tablespoons. But we, we really do need to go. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. You. See you tomorrow. Better join us. It's going to be great.